What I do as the executive director of elder care services is I am a geriatric care manager. We are a company of professional geriatric care managers and we do home care and we do family education. But primarily as a geriatric care manager, we're kind of like the hub of the wheel for a family. When a family is dealing with aging related issues and they don't know where to turn, we're kind of the first stop and sometimes the only stop, but definitely the stop to assess the needs of the elders and their family, find them the resources they need, whether it's medical evaluations, legal consultations, levels of care and housing, or maybe it's behavioral modification with somebody that has Alzheimer's dementia. How do they find out about geriatric care managers? I also happen to be the president of the National Association of Geriatric Care Managers, so caremanager.org is the national organization's website, and they can go there, put in their zip code, and find a geriatric care manager. But you will see in the national press, I think every major uh, magazine, every major newspaper uh, in the United States that is circulated nationally, like the Wall Street Journal and New York Times, they are interviewing us constantly when there's a story on elder issues. I'm a re-entry student. I went back to school when my children were in school, and I saw my parents struggling with teenagers. I have younger brothers and dealing with their aging parents. And I knew when I went back to school I wanted to do something to help families like my parents. However, I didn't know what it was called. So I went back to school, worked on my bachelor's degree, and did an internship with the Area Office on Aging, which is our public office for aging in the county, in Contra Costa County. And they gave me a pilot project to develop a care management project. So I researched care management and I had passion for it, started on my master's degree, and the county called me back and said, hey, Linda, would you come back? We think you have what it takes. But my contribution to them is to help find quality of life and peace. Families have peace of mind. The individual that has whatever the deficit is has a higher quality of life. And that's a, when, when that happens, it's a gift. It, it warms my heart. So I have never tired of it. It is, the hardest thing is saying goodbye to your clients because they die, or sometimes they move to live with families across the nation. But, you know, we get very close to our clients. Some of my clients I've had 10, 15, and 20 years, and so I've seen them from home care to hospice care, and they become part of my heart and part of my, my his, their history becomes part of my history. And if I've contributed to the quality of their life, I can do no better than that. <sighs> A hometown hero, I think because I have compassion for families, and that compassion for families has led me and my company to do a lot of community education. We believe that family education is empowering families. We don't charge for this. We do it as a public service. And we probably have the, the biggest group of professionals in probably the East Bay that are experts in various elements of aging that are requested to do lectures and workshops every single month. Uh, I believe in giving back to the community. It's kind of like tithing in the religious sense. If we all gave back 10% to the community, no matter what our business is, it'd be a better place to live.